Hey, good morning. It's uh, <clears throat> Monday the, what is today? It's Monday the 12th. And we are uh, making some rosin here. And let me just take you through the steps of that process. Here we are making molds out of the old broken rosin trays. We're trying to start with just the wood ones. And all we do is we use masking tape to uh, make the edges here. And I got my little helper. Hi. Hi, my little helper there. There he is putting on the, the molds there. And what that'll do is I'll keep the rosin from spilling out once we uh, make it liquid. Now, rosin comes in basically two, two varieties. Dark rosin and uh, light or amber rosin. As you can see, we have quite a lot of it stored up here. And then our rosin dust where it's kind of mixed together. Here we are prepping our fire. We've made a, a fire of uh, fuel, rather, of... Uh, dryer lint underneath some torn up cardboard, sticks from your yard, and we'll be using a little bit of charcoal if we need to. We've got our pan, one for amber and one for dark rosin, a pair of tongs that I've used for this purpose and are now only used for rosin, all of our prepped molds, and then our light and dark rosin reserved, and then a whole bunch of rosin dust there to mix in however we choose. A couple of logs so we get a few more coals. And of course, safety first, a bucket full of water, should we need to douse any flames, some other sticks, and here's our starter and cardboard and paper. We also live under a walnut tree, so Lysander is happy to gather up nuts for the squirrels. All right, anything else we forgot? Mm -hmm. Let's get going. All right, fire is lit. Just waiting for it to warm up all the coals. So we get started with the rosin. Let's go ahead and pour the rosin. Alexander, you want to help me? So I think this is the uh, amber rosin, and this is the dark rosin. Pour out the chunks. It's uh, dusty work. these uh, specific for doing rosin do not use your good pans because getting the rosin off is nearly impossible so these are just dedicated to rosin stuff I do not cook with these do not use home cooking pans alrighty now never mind the marshmallow I don't actually recommend using a marshmallow right now but it's gonna take a while for this to, to heat but you can already see a little bit of glistening and it's gonna start melting Right now, not so much, but in a little bit, some more liquidy formation here. A little chopstick. You can see that the rosin is starting to melt down. It's pretty gooey. And these little, these little chunks and crystals start to break down and turn into a liquid. Right, like that. So, you know, you can stir them, that helps a little bit. Obviously, we're not perfectly level around here. That's fine. They'll all eventually melt into the same pot, but it's getting there. And here's the thing about tools. They get so sticky, there's no real way to wipe this off until it cools. And then you can crack it off. Uh, but it's kind of like making candy, where it has a melting point. Ready to pour dark rosin. That's a bit warm. So obviously safety is important. Is that wet? Alright. 
bit out of the shadow so I can see better. Hi, Xander. So stand over here. All right, we got our molten rosin. bit of weird dripping over the edge so it's hard to gauge where it's landing. That's why we put these old folders down. These folders have all been used. So they've already had one purpose in life. Uh-oh. We've got a spill. Hopefully it'll cool before it goes over the edge, but we need some more folders, Lysander. Actually, you know what? I think I may even just use our warmer here. Oh shoot. Get away from me, little baby. There we go. Almost done. That'll do. Now for the amber ones. But you can, oh sorry, you can't see through my finger. See, it's still a little bit like soft like jello, it's moldable, movable. So it's still cooling yet, but mostly it's solid. And then the amber rosin, why is that get out of my light, please? The amber rosin, you can see clearly, there's a few bubbles rising to the surface. Some more of our black rosin I moved over here. It's more level so it doesn't pool up on one side and not the other. So this rosin is still melty enough to flow, it's still warm to the touch. It's not sticking to my fingers like a totally liquid rosin would be, but that would be so hot it would burn me. So we don't want to do that, do we? Right, we're getting the uh, rosin warm again. We have here a laser thermometer, giving us a reading, 300 some degrees. Melting point's probably around 300 something. Not sure. As you can see, see there's a little bit of a dense part. Solid part's almost all liquid except for a little bit there. So this is the leftover. I'm just going to leave it here in the pot. As you can see, it's, it's got something I'm going to have to clean out next year. Anyway, these will just sit in my garage and wait until next year. This is what we made. It's about 17 pieces of each, all told. If you count the mini ones uh, uh, as half of one. And uh, I'd say pretty good job. I'll be rosin for students to use this year and take home in their case so everybody has a piece. I'll just let them cool in the shade. Comes the time when we pull off the tape. You can see it pulls off pretty easy. If you want to do it outside still because there's going to be plenty of rosin sticky stuff that we're trying to catch in this container here. And then uh, even that stuff will be put back into the mix for next time. But uh, see after we peel all these things off. And there you have it. There I do have it.
have it. I have a big bow. Ball of masking tape. Yeah, that's all the tape it took to bind it all together. 34 pieces, 17 each of black and amber rosin, or dark and amber rosin. So them turned out pretty good. I think one thing we can do better is have them cool on a level surface. Some of them came out a little, a little funny. The plastic ones did okay though. Tape stopped it at each side. Nice smooth surface there, a lot of rosin. That elastic did for a couple of years. Wood ones, of course, are the best, I think, because they can be reused so easily. Oh, this one has a bit of a thin, uh, thin side and a thick side. Not exactly level with that one. But, uh, you know, not bad for reclaiming a, an accident where the rosin broke. And now we can just melt it down and use it all again.